Yes, so good day everybody. Hope you're all doing fine. I hope you're all doing great wherever you are. So welcome back to this channel and um first of happy new year to you all. I've not made a video for a long time now since last year. This is like my first video of the year, so I'm very sorry about that as well. I had the mind of making videos since last month, but I've just there was not been chance, okay. So I wish you happy new year. Even though today is February 15th. Yeah. Yeah, so and this is actually for this is actually 8 15 pm. Like it's interesting that I'm I'm calling on February 15th and this is 8 15 pm. So much touch much ado. Okay, I always I kind of experienced the issue of or kind of observed in some people that even, my, even myself as well at times that as humans as humans we do not at times tell ourselves the truth at times. Especially when something is wrong with us, when we have an we have a challenge or an issue. So just like maybe like I did, won't like won't, won't like face it. Yeah, won't face it because it's because as they say, truth is actually often bitter. It's quite true. So yeah. So in that view now, I said to make, but I make a video on the issue of self awareness and the opposite one, which is self denial. These are actually two different things that we we all at the point in our life or maybe right now also might be functioning. In, my functioning in one of the two. That way, there, there we are working in self awareness or self denial. So, what is self awareness? I believe self awareness is, is actually this, is actually that 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 um, let me see that that time in your life or that current situation in your life where you actually are aware about yourself. Okay, and this comes in different forms. Maybe your spiritual life physical life, emotional your relationships, your, your your social life also, any, any part of your life as well. Even your academics also, if you are a student. So when you're like aware, you are informed, you 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 actually you know what you know what it is. Like you work in the you work in the in the in the reality, okay? You know working in, you're not working in, like in fallacies or like in your own mind, okay? You actually like you know you know what the truth is, okay? Yes, so for this video, my main scripture, which I would like, like my anchor scripture for this video will be John 8, verse 32. And it says that, and you will know the truth, and the truth will, and the truth will make you free. Hallelujah. We see that the truth will make us free. I don't know if you've, at any point in your life, maybe you've been confused, you've been, you've been confused, you've been probably lost, sad, and then you just get something like you just know something which is very true about the current situation you, i don't know if it's just me but i believe we tend to get alive we come alive we kind of like break free from that gloom and that doom and, and come into the light we start to bloom okay so that's that on, on that so that's that so what's now self-denial i believe self-denial is actually a situation whereby you actually know what the, you actually know the, the truth. You might know, and you should know. But you, see, you but, but you actually refuse to accept it. You don't want to like take it in, maybe because of it might hurt you, or it's not palatable, it's not sweet to to maybe to hear or to see or to talk about. Okay, that's that on um, self denial. Like you just just kind of like refuse to to believe it. In my dictionary app with me, which I have which, which I have with me right now. Denial means, um, let me try and search for it right now. Denial. So I should have been doing a video by always, but I've not been chanced. And I just, I'm just not chance for now to do a video, but by always I would work on it soon. So by always my next video, I would, my next video to be a vid, like a live video where, where I would, you know, use a camera. Okay. Yeah. It says that a refuser to comply with the request. Oh, no, 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 not that. Yeah, thank God. But for you, it says that if you start to believe a problem exists, yeah, that's what I, I see it. Like when you when you refuse when you refuse to believe a problem exists, and and, and that one here says this is actually from psychology, 
a defense mechanism involving a refuser to accept the truth with nominum or prospect. So in this case now, one is actually like refusing to believe that it, that the problem exists. So it's quite serious because the, that challenge might be might be is recurring, is surfacing, but the, but but the moment you keep on hiding it, it keep on like putting into like a bondage. When the truth comes, you become free. Okay, so that's that's that. So now, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give an example now. For example, let's assume you let, like, let let's say you have issue with some um, anger now, like you have anger issues now. You so if you're you actually working in self awareness. To sincerely know that yes, I have anger issues and it's a bad thing. So I need to work on my temper, I need to balance it up, I need to be more calm and collected. But when you're working in self-denial, you might be like, well, it's not true. I don't have this anger issue. It could just disturb me, annoy me, could just get on my nerves. So it's, it's not me, but it's just them. So you, so you try to put the blame on others or on the circumstances around you, okay? Rather than like owning to your responsibility, that's that's that on on awareness and denial, okay? So I believe it's actually important to work in self awareness and not self denial for many for many reasons, so you can be helped. Okay. Remember the scripture that says I need to know the truth, the truth shall set you free. So only the truth will set you free. But if you, but if you keep on working in you know, fallacies, in your own imagination, or in your own in quotes, truth, you can know, actually have different versions of, of, of truth, of true and truth, of true things and you know, things that are true. Like, you might have a, a version of our own truth, which might not be the, might not be the real truth, okay? Is that, is that possible? So, that's that on, on that. So, I believe probably strongly that it's not, not, it's not actually enough to actually work in just awareness alone. Because awareness is not is not complete without the next step, which is self-development. When you have a problem or a challenge, you need to just not just it's not enough to just know it is the brother working towards um perfection. As Christians, we are called to be perfect. Okay, by Jesus Christ Himself. Said be perfect as the Father as Father in heaven is perfect. Okay? So God want, God wants us to be perfect. Yeah, he wants that. Okay. So, like in our lives, like what our lives are perfect. So, and like Paul said, like Paul said in, in his in his opinion, in Philippians, that truly he himself is not perfect yet, but he actually strives, he works towards that perfection. Okay, and I believe we are Christians also should also work in that part as well. We need to like intentionally, consciously work towards that perfection. Okay, in in, in Christ. So it's quite very important. Okay. That's that on that, and knowing the truth to actually see from a lot of struggles because what you know, you, when you know something, you actually, I don't know, I don't know if it's just me, like knowledge is like, is like a light that's clears with darkness from you. So you might actually be, you might be feeling some somehow sometimes, unless you know what, why, are, why, are, why are you are feeling that way, you may, you may be walking in gloom, okay? So I would also encourage you to just ensure you know the truth part time, okay? And you have, to, you have to know that only the Holy Spirit can help us know the truth, okay? Because it's, He Himself is the Spirit of truth. And and as the as scripture says in John 15, that He would guide us into all truth, okay? So you need to work with the Holy Spirit so you can help, help to know the truth concerning your life, how you feel part time, because our feelings matter a lot, okay? You understand? So, our feelings matter a lot. That's, that's that on, on that. So, about that, the nature of self development, it's a conscious effort which we keep on doing to get to heaven, okay? As believers, because that's, that's our goal in life, not just to just be perfect human beings, you know, with, with no flaws, but rather picking it to heaven, because that's the final, that's the, that's, the, that's the main deal, that's the big deal, heaven. So, and also by God's grace, also Paul was telling Timothy to study, work, study, work to show himself approved. We know from James that faith that works is dead. When you have, have, have a problem in life, first of all, please don't worry, okay? Truth might be odd, but just 
word as we have told in Philippians also to pray by everything. Okay, so just know what pray about everything, don't worry, and consciously work towards that perfection. Okay? Like Paul said, strain is striving hard. Okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a conscious effort. Okay, so so you no know, faith that works is dead. Don't just pray alone. You need to put some step. It requires you reading books, read books. If it's, things, if it's, if it's something that that is probably medical, you can see doctor. Just work and pray. Okay? Like. Make sure that if it is correct and your work still are also correct, okay? Yeah, so that's video guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'm very grateful to have you here again watching my videos. Thank you so much and God bless you. So one more time I apologize for you know for posting videos late. Sorry about that. And shout out to these guys. Thanks so much for this coming and in case you also want to shout out shout out also, don't worry, just drop a comment and I'll, I'll just give a shout out to my next video. Please follow us on Twitter at the Mail Deliver and until next time, stay blessed.